Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. Have you ever heard that saying, the walls have ears? Probably. Well, the walls in this trailer are crying. Crying with water damage. And we need to take this whole back apart, just like we did with the front in the last video. This is crazy how much water damage and mold there is. Guys, I need to put on some protective gear. I need to put on a respirator. I need to put on some coveralls, some eye protection, and some gloves. Why? <laughs> because of Captain and Clem, y'all. Safety is our number one priority. Well, sometimes. This is gonna be a job. <laughs> from the kitchen, except for the counter, over is cleared out. Oh gosh, it's stinky in here. And now the dreaded bathroom. Ay, ay, ay. This is gonna be nasty. Ugh. Okay guys, oh my gosh, it's hard work. As you see, we've gotten the back wall down. So much water in the ceiling. This support is actually rotten right through. This is bad. I've got to finish getting the bathroom down. Just give me one sec guys. Let's see what he was up to. I was on my on the phone with my daughter. Did you get the bathroom done? Did you get the bathroom done? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. A little privacy here. <laughs> just checking out on the map where we're gonna go if we ever get this thing done. <laughs> but just give just give me a minute. I'll be right with you. Get sorry, out. sorry, sorry. What do you think, guys? Now that I'm done with my business. What do you think? I think we have a water problem. Just a little bit of a water problem. Whoever said demo was like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, was night like, full of crap. For real, right? Okay, good. Get your ass in the <laughs> trailer now. <laughs> right no. Now. I'm, I'm videoing. Jesus. Go. Hey, get your. Go, go, go. Guys, we had to stop. Why? Because safety is supposed to be capped by the climbing's number one priority, but I got a boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful ripping this paneling off. There oh. are staples there. If I have to get my finger amputated, it's all your guys' fault. It's just a... We do this for you. Well, it's a tetanus shot waiting to happen right there. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It is, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Well guys, the ceiling's coming down. 
And this is going to be scary because I know there's some definite, definite water damage up there. And mold and all the gooky stuff, so I think I'll bow out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And the walls and ceiling come tumbling down. Look at the water damage. Right there. That is brutal. Well guys, oh, that whole top beam is rotten right through and cracked. Oh. Bad. Yikes. Oh damn, look at that. That's not good. <laughs> uh oh. I think we have some water damage. Just a little bit. Ay ay ay. Well, it could be worse. It could be worse. Right? And I can tell you exactly where, what caused most of this right here. This is the vent. This is a gray water vent, not sealed up on the roof. So the water just over time leaked in and has caused all this damage here. Once Marcy gets this insulation, I'll be able to take a better look. Oh God, look at this. Was this part of the structure? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think we need that. I think we might need that. You can use it for nothing. <laughs> this guys is the one sealing joist. You want to know just how rotten it is? This is a 2 by 2 and it's just crumbling. Look at that, soaking wet. And it smells bad. It smells really bad. Oh, that's what that, that's what that, ooh, ugh, ugh, gross. guys we got a little bit of work but so far again pleasantly surprised because I thought and Marcy thought this whole back wall was rotten I honestly thought from the ground up was gonna be rotten so that's not bad we do definitely have some rot in the ceiling you can see this whole <laughs> joist think? is done this could be worse could back be worse. top plate is rotten right through all the way to the back corner, but we knew this door was going to be a problem. This corner here is rotten, which we already knew. I can see above the door, and I'll show you guys later. I can see light through it. It's so badly rotten. Once we take this wall and this door down, we're really going to see how much damage is back here. But so far, here's the thing, guys. For some of you that really know your stuff, you make sure you get up on the roof and you reseal all your vents your window vent, your skylight vent, your exhaust vents, all that type of stuff. This <laughs> has not been sealed in forever. Mind you, it is a really old trailer. Not even with duct tape though. They had duct tape back then, didn't they? Like... The water just came in between the vent, sat in the ceiling, and rotted it all out. The same thing with the kitchen sink vent. This is the bathroom sink vent. That's half the problem right here. And then the door leaking. So here's where we are. And probably this whole area is going to be just, the floor included, probably is just going to be done. That's my guess. But we're not done because we're taking this wall down, the kitchen out, it's going to be gutted. When we said gutted, we meant gut it. So we can all start redoing all. All, like there's a bunch of us. It's me and Marcy. What can... <laughs> so we can start fixing the structure.
Okay, I don't know if this is smart now, no respirator. But with all Maybe we're not bad. With all the old wet, like wet from moisture, insulation out, the old moldy paneling out. Most of the mold has been taken out of here. The stove is out, the furnace is out, the fridge is out. All that stuff is out. There's two things left in here. We've got the hot water tank in here and the kitchen counter cabinet, whatever is gonna come out. So that's what we're gonna work on next. And then don't go anywhere because you're gonna to wanna to see how much water damage and what we have to replace and where we have to go from there. So let's get this out of here. What is he doing now? Holy moly guys, what a job, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I'm screwing around. <laughs> Just some screws. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. The last of the floor stuff so we can quit tripping over it would be lovely. You know, no nails in the feet, that kind of thing. Alrighty guys. So a good day's work. We have pretty much got it. I'm gonna say 98% gutted. Ready to start working on the structure. A couple little things, water lines are out, electricals out. It is just a box. We do have the water. We know where the water's been coming in. We know where the water leaks are. We know what we have to restructure, rebuild the whole nine yards. But it is a box. This was. Hey, 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 hey. Not just a box. Not it's just a, a box. box with potential. A box with potential. It absolutely is. Just wait. So this was the kitchen. Kitchen's gone. No more kitchen. This was the bed. Bed's gone. No more bed. This was the, I don't know what you want to call it, little nook, little eating area, booth, whatever. Gone. That was the closet back there. Gone. That was the bathroom. Now. If you guys have made it this far in the video, we're hemming and hawing exactly what we're going to do at the bathroom, how we're going to rebuild a shower, the whole nine yards. Remember, this is a budget. Can't run out and just buy a whole bunch of stuff. There. So what you see is potential and water damage. <laughs> It's a clean slate. If you guys made it this far, leave comments below of what you would do. Marcy and I love reading that stuff. I'm gonna end this off, and you guys can see some of the water damage that's in there. But you know what? We will see you very soon when we start rebuilding the structure in this. Give us your ideas, guys. We really want your ideas. Yes, please. I'm gonna end this off and show you some of the water damage.